Hi, this is Steve with the All In Wine Pump. We're here today to talk about how to sanitize your filter. There's a lot of different ways you can sanitize your filter. I'm going to talk about three different methods. One method is to put the filter inside your canister. Put it inside your canister. We're going to tighten it down. We're going to hook up all the lines. So in goes toward your, your supply vessel, out goes toward your receiving vessel, which is under vacuum. Everything be nice and tightened down. Take our wrench tool, make sure our lines match up so we know that we index the filter. We talked about that in the last video. So now since we have it all set up, we're ready to go. A lot of people will use it as is. And considering that it did come from the factory, 100% sealed with the plastic bag, sealed on both ends, uh, I'm assuming it will be okay. But like I said, there's three different methods. So this is one method to take it right out of the plastic bag and use it dry. I highly recommend is to sanitize the complete unit before we put the filter element inside. So the next one is to run sanitizing solution through the filter, which I recommend is a 1% solution, one gallon of 1% SO2 solution through it, all the way into the, into the carboy, and then another two gallons of water to flush out any remaining of the SO2 inside the filter and be able to remove it. Once that's done, we're going to disconnect the lines, we're going to hold it upside down, and we're going to make sure we let it sit for approximately six minutes to make sure any kind of liquid comes out of it. There's going to be very little liquid that stays in this filter because this filter is a polypropylene filter, which means it's made out of plastic. It does not hold moisture very well. So we don't have to worry about trying to dilute the lines. Another uh, possible suggestion is a corkador. So it's just taking a bucket, a regular standard bucket, putting a platform in the bottom, and then a straighter basket on top. We'll set our filters inside, and let them sit in there, and we'll put the we'll put the bucket lid on top of it after adding about one gallon of 1% solution inside the bucket. So what that'll do is all the gases will be trapped inside that bucket, sanitizing whatever is inside the bucket. So we could put our corks, we could put our filters in there, and after about 45 minutes, we have access to it. The filter still remains dry. So we got all different types of methods here that we can use today. So I hope one of these will work for you. Thanks again. We're going to talk real soon and we're going to give a demonstration on how to filter an actual live demonstration. Okay, this is a live demonstration of how to filter. So we have our supply carboy right here. We have our empty one right here. Dragon King goes inside. Now on the filter itself, we have in and we have out. So the in goes toward the supply carboy. The out goes to the receiving carboy, which is under vacuum. By the way, these connectors are really nice because you can push the collar back and you can just take the vacuum line out. This vacuum line is specially designed from us it's extra thick, so it's vacuum resistant, and it holds up really well to these new connectors. Okay, we'll turn it on, and we got the vacuum release already open a little bit, so we're reducing the vacuum a little bit already, because highly recommended to reduce the vacuum lid so we're not pulling as quick. And it's also recommended to take the supply, this carboy, and actually put it up higher than the filter element. We're not doing it right now just because of space right now.
So right here, we want to make sure we pinch this right here and stop any kind of air from getting going around the, around the tube. So just a little pinch helps a lot. We're using some green dye right now so you can see it real easy. As it filled all the way up. There she goes. A lot of people ask, what am I going to do with all this excess line that I'm going to throw away in, in, this, in this canister? You don't have to throw it away. It's all used. A lot of it we can turn upside down and we'll let it go through the filter into the carboy. Or we can undo the one outline. Get it out of the way. And hold it upside down. Let it drain. Till then, happy winemaking. making.